and welcome to SFN. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Hannah. We're here to bring you Springport's latest news. Are you excited for this summer? I know I am, and the box office is sure to offer some awesome movies this summer. Summer is movie season, and we all know people will be lined up to see some great films. Remember Shrek? The fourth installment is coming to the silver screen on May 21st. Shrek is tired of, treated, tired of being treated like a big softie and wants to be treated like the ogre he is. Another fan favorite coming back is the third and final Toy Story movie. Andy is all grown up and headed for college, but he decides to sell his toys. Certainty. New toys! Yeah. What are the toys going to do? You'll have to tune in June 18th to find out. Now let's take it to Brooke on the streets. Thanks, Lindsay. You all may not know who Stephanie Germanata is, but what if I told you she's the same as mega superstar Lady Gaga? I'm going to be walking the halls of Spring Ford to get some student opinions. I think she's pretty cool. She's a little weird, but I guess that's just how she is. I'm a fan because I'm a fan of anybody who's okay with doing their own thing, and she definitely does her own thing 24-7. Um, I love, personally love Lady Gaga. She's like my idol, and I really like her style. I think Lady Gaga is a good artist. She wears some weird outfits, and she has a nice voice, I think. Um, I think she's pretty awesome. I mean, she's really weird, but it's cool. <laughs> she personally scares me. Uh, some people, like, people I know call her, like, artistic, but um, I just find her pretty annoying. Lady Gaga kind of scares me. She's a little creepy. I love Lady Gaga. I was supposed to see her in concert, but it didn't work out because my parents wouldn't let me go. I love Lady Gaga. She's my best friend. How about your favorite Lady Gaga song? Um, Bad Romance, for sure. It's hard to pick one, so we'll just go with a throwback and I'll say Just Dance. I don't really like any of her songs. My favorite song? Definitely Starstruck, just because it's... Thank you. <laughs> just because it's... Um, bad Romance. Well, they're all pretty catchy, but I would say... Bad Romance? Maybe? Yeah, Bad Romance. I don't know, man. I think they're all pretty cool. My favorite song is probably Bad Romance because it's really fun to dance to. My favorite song would have to be Telephone with Beyonce because I love Beyonce and I love Lady Gaga, so them together, pretty much perfect. So what are your opinions on Lady Gaga? I think she's pretty cool, and my son is absolutely deeply in love with her. Is there a favorite song you have by her? Not me, but my son sings bad romance at the top of his lungs while his iPod is in his ears, so he's not good. It's not good. All right. Well, I think that pretty much sums it up. We're going to take it back to the desk after this short public service announcement. Did you know 5,110,000 gallons of water are wasted each year? One dripping faucet can waste 20 gallons of water a day. 25% of all American toilets leak. Did you know you can help prevent this? Turn off the water while brushing your teeth. Take shorter showers. Use your dishwasher and clothes washer for full loads only. Water is a vital resource to us and our environment. Do your part and help conserve our natural water resources. Remember, save water. If you're familiar with Mrs. Miscavige, you know that she teaches AP Psychology. What you may not know is that she has her very own cooking show. I sat down with Mrs. Miscavige to get an inside look. Hey, Mrs. Miscavige, how are you today? I'm good, thanks for having me here. No problem, it's always a pleasure. Um, how did you first become interested in cooking? Um, it actually started when my grandmother used to visit us from New Jersey. We would make things like pasta and bread, and um, that's really just where I started to get my love of cooking, spending time with her. That must have been a lot of fun. It was. And ten years ago, did you ever think that you'd be the host of your very own cooking show? Oh my goodness, absolutely not. I had no idea that I'd actually be on TV, let alone have my own <laughs> cooking show. It's, it's a lot of fun. It must be. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you been hiding your talent from the public? Well, I don't know if my husband would say my cooking's <laughs> a talent per se, but um, it's been about a year since our show started. That's a long there. time. Mm -hmm. Must be fun. It is. Um, what's your favorite dish to make? Say anything that is a comfort food is something that I like to make. I just recently started making rice pudding from scratch, which is really good, but my favorite all time is mac and cheese to make. It's delicious. Oh, mac and cheese is the best. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any interest in changing the school menu? 
Well, I don't know if my answer is going to be popular to this question, but I don't really eat in the school cafeteria, so I'm not real familiar with what they serve all of you students. But uh, we are getting new construction, so maybe with the new construction comes a new menu, hopefully, for you. Hopefully. And thanks so much. It was a pleasure speaking with you, and we'll be sure to tune in to Ram Country. Thank See you. I'd appreciate show. that. That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time on SFN.